हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज जोगिंदर रोहिला एंड टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू क्रिस्टल फील्ड स्प्लिटिंग इन स्केयर प्लेनर कॉम्प्लेक्सेस अब तक हमने क्रिस्टल फील्ड स्प्लिटिंग ऑक्टाहेडल कॉम्प्लेक्सेस और टेट्राहेडल कॉम्प्लेक्सेस में डिस्कस की है अभी इस वीडियो में हम स्केयर प्लेनर कॉम्प्लेक्सेज में क्रिस्टल फील्ड स्प्लिटिंग कैसे होगी इसको डिस्कस करेंगे हो सकता है आप एकदम से इस डायग्राम को देखकर आपको ये लगे कि बड़ा ही कॉम्प्लिकेटेड मैकेनिज्म होगा क्रिस्टल फील्ड स्प्लिटिंग का स्केयर प्लेनर कॉम्प्लेक्सेस के रिगार्डिंग जैसा कि हमें पता है कि स्केयर प्लेनर कॉम्प्लेक्सेस का अरेंजमेंट कैसे होता है टू लिगेंट्स आर प्रेजेंट ऑन ए पार्टिकुलर एक्सिस लाइक एक्स एक्सिस अपोजिट टू इच अदर एंड टू लिगेंट्स आर प्रेजेंट ऑन अदर एक्सिस सपोज वाई एक्सिस ओके एंड बोन एंगल इज नाइन्टी डिग्री This is square planar geometry, and square planar geometry can be easily understood with the help of an octahedral geometry. Okay, do you know octahedral geometry? Okay, let's discuss what is octahedral geometry. Suppose this is a book, obviously final, and I am going to discuss with you octahedral geometry. Like in this structure, suppose this is a book, and metal ion is present in the center. This is one axis, x axis. This is y axis. Both y axis. One ligand is present here. 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 X axis, y axis, and one ligand is present above the plane. Suppose this is z axis above the plane. Okay. This is below the plane. One ligand is present above the plane. One ligand is present below the plane. This is octahedral geometry. Okay. In this case. these two ligands are present on x axis these two ligands are present on y axis and bond angle between these ligands is 90 degree this ligand and this ligand these ligands are present on z axis above the plane below the plane okay we have discussed crystal field splitting in octahedral complexes in our previous video according to crystal field splitting in case of octahedral complexes there is splitting of degenerate d orbitals into two levels one is e g level that acquires higher energy in this set of or in this set of orbitals dx square minus y square and dz square is there in which electron density is present on principal axis in this case three orbitals are there dxy dyz and dxxz the electron density is present in between the principal axis this is crystal field splitting in octahedral complexes this part okay now if i want to discuss with you crystal field splitting in square planar complexes how can we make square planar complex from an octahedral complex we can make square planar complex if we remove two ligands any two ligands opposite to each other or two trans directing ligands if removed from an octahedral geometry suppose if i try to remove these two ligands from this octahedral geometry just see the picture If these two ligands are removed, these four ligands will be there. The geometry will be square planar. If the geometry will be square planar, the differences of energy being between these orbitals will no longer be same. There will be some different kind of energy differences in square planar geometry. Okay, let's try to remove these two ligands. Okay. If I remove these two ligands, or I bring these two ligands away from the normal lattice, crystal lattice of this octahedral geometry, if I bring these two ligands far away from this, just imagine if these two L ligands are present far away from this particular geometry, this crystal structure, and these are present away from this. Suppose these are present at this position. Okay. If these are present at this position, just imagine, and then. such type of behavior or such type of structure will be there this type of structure will be called an elongated structure that is tetragonally distorted octahedron now this is tetragonally distorted octahedron if i assume in order to make square planar geometry two ligands are moving away from normal crystal lattice from trans to each other at a particular z axis if they are moving away from each other what will happen in the energies of these orbitals i am removing two ligands from z axis it means z axis the interaction of the ligands which are approaching on z axis and 
द ऑर्बिटल्स विच आर हैविंग इलेक्ट्रॉन डेंसिटी ऑन जेड एक्सिस और अराउंड जेड एक्सिस देयर इंट्रैक्शन विल बी लेस इट मीन्स दोज ऑर्बिटल्स विच आर हैविंग इलेक्ट्रॉन डेंसिटी ऑन प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस जेड एक्सिस स्पेशली दे विल एक्वायर लेसर इंट्रैक्शन एंड दे विल बी मोर स्टेबलाइज लाइक इफ दिस इज द क्रिस्टल फील्ड स्प्लिटिंग एनर्जी लेवल डायग्राम फॉर ओक्टा हेड्रल इफ दिस टाइप ऑफ बिहेवियर इज सोन इन टेट्रागोनली डिस्टोर्टेड ओक्टा हेड्रोन आई हैव नॉट रिमूव दिज टू लिगेंट्स कंप्लीटली आई हैव आई हैव पुट दिज लिगेंट्स स्लाइटली अवे फ्रॉम द नॉर्मल ओक्टा हेड्रोन ओके वट विल हैपन द ऑर्बिटल्स विच आर हैविंग इलेक्ट्रॉन डेंसिटी ऑन प्रिंसिपल एक्सीज रिमेंबर दीज टू ऑर्बिटल्स आर हैविंग इलेक्ट्रॉन डेंसिटी ऑन प्रिंसिपल एक्सीज इन केस ऑफ डी एक्स स्क्र माइनस वाई स्क्र इलेक्ट्रॉन डेंसिटी इज प्रेजेंट ऑन x axis and y axis principal axis and in case of dz square electron density is present on mainly on z axis and some electron density is also present on x and y mainly on z axis so out of these two orbitals dz square orbitals which will face less interaction because we are we are moving away the ligand from z axis interaction will be less this dz square will be more stabilized in comparison to dx square minus y square moreover this dx square minus y square is interacted by four ligands because four lobes are there x axis on x on s x axis and on y axis that is interacted with four ligands interaction will be maximum their energy will be higher and dz square from where we are removing the ligands so interaction will be less so out of these two orbital dz square will acquire lesser energy it will be more stabilized and from this from these three orbitals the orbitals which are having electron density around z axis we know that out of these three orbitals no orbital is having electron density on principal axis all are having electron density in between the principal axis but those orbitals which are having electron density in between the principal axis but near to z axis near to z axis why i am saying near to z axis because we are trying to remove the ligands from z axis interaction for those orbitals which are having electron density near the z axis or on the z axis they will face less interaction they will be more stabilized if i try to remove these two ligands from z axis specially z axis okay this is the case of tetragonally distorted octahedron and out of these three orbitals these two orbitals which are having electron density in between the principal axis like y and z and x and z there is involvement of z z component so these two orbitals are having same electron density same energy these are deeply degenerate but these are stabilized in comparison to other orbital of the same set from d x y this is more stabilized so this is the case of tetragonally distorted octahedron okay let's go further we just want to make square planar geometry from octahedral geometry now just imagine these two ligands are completely removed from the system now these two ligands are completely removed from the system now we are having a geometry like this we are having a geometry like this we are having four ligands these two ligands and these two ligands ligands on z axis are not there if ligands on z axis are not there the system will having some different kinds of energies this dx square minus y square in case of tetragonally distorted octahedron that will be further destabilized or it will acquire very high energy because in case of square planar complexes the ligands are approaching on x axis and y axis interaction will be maximum and the maximum electron density is present on dx square minus y square orbital because electron density is on principal axis and principal axis in this case are x and y this is highly destabilized acquires very high energy so in final energy level diagram this part is for square planar complex in square planar complex d x square minus y square will be of very high energy and c the particular this case dz square the dz square is at this energy level in case of tetragonally distorted octahedron but in case of square planar complexes this dz square because the dz square orbital is such type of orbital which is not interacting 
with the ligand approaching on z axis because we have removed the ligand on z axis and thereby this dz square will be very very highly stabilized that acquires even lower energy than the dxy of this set in the final splitting diagram this dxy will obtain some higher energy in comparison to dz square of eg level because that is not facing any kind of interaction from the orbital so dz square will be more stabilized in comparison to dxy this dyz and dz dz is further stabilized because there is z component and they are also not facing so much interaction so these two orbitals are further stabilized so in the final energy level diagram in case of square planar complexes dyz will be of very high stability lower energy level and dx square minus y square of very high energy this crystal field splitting gap is very large the crystal splitting gap between any energy level of crystal uh, or any energy level of square planar complexes is very large and such type of complexes are obtained mainly in case of d8 electronic configuration d8 electronic configuration like nickel in plus 2 oxidation state when strong field ligands are there strong field ligands like cyanide ion are there or you can take another example like ninh36 suppose this is an octahedral case this is the case of octahedral if you want to make this square planar we can understand from this example also so square planar complexes are obtained mainly for d8 electronic configurations with strong field ligands like cyanide co and some other kinds of ligands and crystal field splitting energy gap between the energy level is very high and some of the cases of second transition series or third transition series may show square planar complexes even with weak field ligands also remember in case of nickel 2 positive d8 electronic configuration because nickel is the member of first transition series crystal field splitting for first transition series is slightly less if we compare with third second and third transition series so nickel in plus 2 oxidation state with d8 electronic configuration it shows square planar complexes with very strong ligands strong field ligands like cyanide but the members of second transition series if i discuss with you like second and third transition series suppose i take from third transition series like platinum second platinum second and gold third what is the atomic number of platinum 78 gold 79 these are the members of third transition series these two members platinum is second oxidation state gold in third oxidation state these are able to form square planar complexes even with weak field ligands so dear students try to understand the crystal field splitting in square planar complexes and before discussing or before understanding crystal field splitting in square planar complexes please try to understand crystal field splitting, splitting in octahedral complexes only by using that method or that mechanism you can easily understand the crystal field splitting in square planar complexes okay dear students in this video i have discussed with you crystal field splitting in square planar complexes you can easily draw the diagram and you can easily understand the energy levels in case of square planar complexes it seems slightly uh, you can say slightly disturbing if we compare with that of tetrahedral and octahedral but it is easy to understand not uh, very difficult okay in my next video i am going to discuss with you factors affecting crystal field splitting कि जो क्रिस्टल फील स्प्लिटिंग की हम बात करते हैं T2 एनर्जी लेवल EG एनर्जी लेवल के बीच में जो गैप है कम ज़्यादा कैसे होता है उसके लिए कौन कौन से फैक्टर्स रेस्पॉन्सिबल हैं वो हम अगली वीडियो में डिस्कस करेंगे ओके डियर स्टूडेंट्स इफ़ यू लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज़ क्लिक लाइक लाइक आइकन लाइक शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल थैंक यू वेरी मच बेस्ट विशेज टू यू